Five bob a pound. Pork, two bob a trotter. <laughs> Puddings and with tanners in, I may add. This is the time of the year when one should open one's heart to one's fellow beings. The time to forgive one's enemies. Peace on earth and goodwill to all men. The time... That's it. Go on, girl. Have a go. <laughs> Look at her. The spirit of Christmas. <laughs> Shove a wand in her hand, half a yard of tinsel round her, she'll be well away. <laughs> Just the right size for that tree in Trafalgar Square. <laughs> I have lived with you, off you, for many years. But I didn't think that even you could be so heartless at Christmas time. You are my friend no longer. I shall collect all my belongings and leave these cheap rooms. All your belongings? <laughs> a picture of Sydney Arbor Bridge and a boomerang. <laughs> go on, then, go on, leave. Go on, go on. Go down the workhouse for a few weeks. <laughs> You'll get some pudding down there. <laughs> Christmas. Oh, listen, carol singers. Hello, more expense. Quick, put the lights out. Hide behind the curtain. Where are they, Grizzly? Over there, see them? Oh, three little boys. Oh, <laughs> With a little lantern. Oh, they're sweet. Oh, dear, oh, dear. Look at them. Straight out of a Giles cartoon. <laughs> quick, quick, get back, get back. They're coming up the path. Shh, shh. Not bad next door to Bob. Yeah. That's 18 pounds tonight. I told oh. you it was a better racket than paper rounds. <laughs> I think we'll make this the last one. All right. We'll do good King Wences last in C oh, sharp. All right. Softly and with feeling. Yes. Yeah. Now remember, no gabbling, it's a Christmas carol, so put warmth and sincerity into every word. Uh Is that we really meant it? Yes. One, two, three. Good King Wenzel's last... enough. (laughs) Knock on the door. There's no one coming, let's chuck a brick through the window. Yo, dear. What do you want? Oh, swipe me. What do we want? We've been standing out here in the freezing bitter doing our jolly old nuts. And you fatty here says, what do we want? Some maters do get lumbered with them, don't they? We want some money. Well, you're not getting any from me, Hobbit. Oh, it's Christmas. Go on, give us a bob. We've entertained you with our carol. A bob for three words? Clear off. Give us some money, you old fat rotter. <laughs> Who's a fat rotter? Give How dare you? Get off my land before I have one of my terms. I say, little boys, here you are. Here's two shillings for you. And a Merry Christmas. Oh, thank you, kind oh, lady. Yeah. And a Merry Christmas to one and all. All except him. Oh, go on. <laughs> Clear off. I'll set the dogs on you. Ah, uh, no. Oh, fat legs. Four eyes. Wooden face. Spotty neck. Oh, come in. <laughs> Grown man shouting down the street at little children. Well, did you hear what they were calling me? Oh, fat legs. Put in face. Beery nose. <laughs> My worst enemy couldn't say I was a beery nose. I didn't get this nose from beer. If they'd said claret conk, they would have been nearer the mark. <laughs> it's not good enough. I got me home back, though. That little one didn't like it when I called him Spotty Nick. <laughs> that struck home. Soft spot with him, I shouldn't wonder. Those other two will put it around. That'll be his name for life now. <laughs> beery nose. You ought to be ashamed of yourself. Treating small children like that. Well, I hate kids. Horrible things. All skinny legs and big boots. <laughs> well, you were a kid yourself once. I was not. Well, not like them anyway. I was a little picture. <laughs> <laughs> me, velvet... <laughs> me velvet suit, me curly hair. I didn't have it cut till I was 14. Me little... <laughs> Please, please, please. My little button-up shoes and, and a hoop and a stick. Small smash. And I was clever, a child prodigy, you know. I was writing poetry at nine. So was I. Well, you still do. I mean, there's been complaints in the local paper about it. <laughs> I'm sorry, I just can't bring myself to get on with kids. They, they don't like me and I don't like them. A permanent state of war exists between me and anybody under the age of 15. <laughs> Things you hear on a night like this, you, uh... You haven't got your box with you? Oh, no, 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 I'm not collecting tonight. Well, come in then and have a warm round the candle. I come round on behalf of the needy orphans of the parish. Yes, I... 
I was wondering if you got my letter. I've been on my own for many years now. And <laughs> being a proud man, I don't like to rely on charity, but I must admit a, a few quid and a couple of food parcels would help tide me over the festive season. I, I don't think you understand. I, I've come around to thank you for your very generous offer. Generous offer? Not me, no, no. I think you've got the wrong Hancock. There's a, a lot of us about, you know. There's a couple of them playing football. No, there's no need to be modest, my son. You're the man. Twenty three railway cutting stream. We really do appreciate what you're doing. What am I doing? It's not everyone who can so kindly open their home and their hearts at Christmas time to two twelve year old orphans. Who, me? Kids in this house? No, I don't think so. You've made a mistake. Kids are allergic to me. Every time they come within a few yards of me, they. They come out in bruises, you know. It's a strange thing. <laughs> oh, no, there's no mistake. You sent a letter in answer to our appeal. I didn't see any appeal, and I certainly didn't send any letter. But you did. I have your letter here. Look on your headed notepaper. Tony, hasn't it turned out nice again, Hancock? <laughs> <laughs> That's my notepaper, all right. Show me. Dear Vicar, we should be only too pleased at taking two orphans for Christmas. <laughs> Rest assured, we look after them and feed them and give them the best Christmas they've ever had. Signed on behalf of Tony Hancock, Griselda Pugh, secretary. Excuse me a minute. Ow! Don't worry. She'll be all right when the swelling goes down. <laughs> I was saying, there's been a terrible mistake. I'm not having any kids here, much as I love them, of course, but I, I won't be here. No, I, I'll be off on the high seas tomorrow. I'm off, yes. Might be away for years. We're going whaling, you know. Down the streets of McGillan, round the old Spice Isles. Ha <laughs> ha. We're after the white one, I think. <laughs> Very important. They couldn't go without me. I'm the one who throws the darts. <laughs> Look, naturally, we wouldn't send the children to you empty handed. Couldn't possibly cancel it now. It's all settled. We leave on the morning tide. Each of them will bring a, a pudding, a turkey, and five pounds pocket money. Will you bring them round, or shall I send the car? <laughs> Hurry up with those decorations. The children will be here soon. I'm doing this under protest. You realise that, don't you? Don't think you've got the better of me. The minute those kids have gone, down they come. Ah, oh, shut up. <laughs> well, listen, more like it, isn't it? A few decorations make all the difference, eh? Nice of you to put them up, Hancock. Nice of you to provide them. Yeah. Run a paint roller over a sheet of newspaper, cut it into strips. It's amazing what you can do. <laughs> well, you didn't expect me to buy shop-made ones, did you? Threaten a packet and provide your own lick. <laughs> Those paper bells, two and six each, that's right, ridiculous. What's wrong with these? Little ingenuity, that's all? Plant pots with crepe paper stuck round them. <laughs> and very effective, too. You don't need to pay these fancy prices, just use your noddle. I reckon this whole room's been decorated for ninepence. <laughs> Half of that was for the tree. Yeah, don't it look like it. Six bits of privet nailed in a broom handle. <laughs> It was either that or paint one on the wall, so keep quiet. Uh, what about some presents for the kids to hang on the Christmas tree? You can wrap up my shaving kit and my spare pipe. <laughs> for a boy and a girl aged 12, oh, with a bit of luck, they'll give them back to me. Have you finished yet? They're due here any minute. Oh, this'll do. Sprinkle a few nuts around, mix up the cob nuts with the conkers, put them on the sideboard. Here you are, here's a tanner bar of chocolate. <laughs> Now, break it up and put it in the bowl. That's it. Keep them going for three or four days, that will. <laughs> They've never had it so good. Oh, that would be the children. I'll go. Mr. Hancock? Yes? We're the orphans. Merry Christmas. Where's the pudding? <laughs> Give them a chance to get in. Come in, children. Make yourselves at home. Yes, make yourselves at home. Have you brought the turkeys with you? Well, let's get our coats off. Leave them on. There'll be no fires in this house, matey. <laughs> Come on, hand the grub over. All right, there you are. I'll take the food. Where are you taking it? To the kitchen. I'm going to cook it. I can't wait that long. I'm having it as it is. <laughs> Don't be soppy. It's got to be cooked. I don't know what you're worrying about. You're not having any. <laughs> it's our food. We brought it. We'll tell the vicar. There's no need to tell the vicar. It's, it's, it's for your own good. 
Highly seasoned food like turkeys and puddings is not for young stomachs like yours. We've got some, uh, got some young chickens for you. Very young chickens. Oh, good. They're Polish with shells round them. <laughs> very novel, very novel indeed, they are. Now, you've got anything else on you? Yes, we've got five pounds spending money each, which we're holding on to. Why? Because they're not going the same way as the turkeys and puddings. <laughs> I don't like the inference, but you'd better come in. This is the living room. Cool, what a damp. <laughs> Even the orphanage was better than this. Now, listen, Titch. <laughs> I think you and I better have a little talk. I don't like the way things are shaping. <laughs> Let's start now as we mean to go on. You scratch my back, and I'll scratch yours. <laughs> You be nice to me, and I'll be nice to you. You cause trouble for me, I cause trouble for you, right? Right. What about the five quid? You're not having it. I do hate suspicious kids. Now go on, get in the living room and sit down. Where's the telly? We haven't got one. Michael, I'll get the coats, you get the food, and we'll get the bus back to the orphanage. You stay where you are. Why did I have to get a couple of kids like you two? Because all the kids in the home tossed up and we lost. <laughs> <laughs> ah, very funny. Wait till you see your room. <laughs> Come on. You might as well meet the rest of the household just to see what you're up against. This here, this is your <laughs> Uncle William. Hello, kids. I'm very pleased to meet you. How about giving your uncle a nice big kiss, kiddo? He fancies himself, doesn't he? <laughs> kiddo, I don't trust him. Did you hear that accent? He's a foreigner. I'm not. I'm Australian. Where's your pouch? <laughs> I haven't got a pouch. You're getting me mixed up with a kangaroo. Oh, you mean those funny-looking animals with tiny heads and big feet? Yeah, that's them. Where's your pouch? <laughs> <laughs> yes, they're not so bad when you get to know them, are they? <laughs> now, this, this here... Is your Uncle Sidney. Hello, children. Mr. Hancock? Yes? Here's our spending money. I think you had better look after it for us. <laughs> uh, what do you mean? What are you implying? They know, they know, they know mugs. Can't fool kids, they're like dogs. They can see straight through you. <laughs> Certainly I'll keep the money for you. Can we have a receipt? Uh, they know, they know. All right, all right, all right. They know mugs. All right. Well, that's it, that's the lot. You've met them all now. Who is the uh, well-built lady. Well-built? <laughs> you know, that's the kindest thing anybody's ever said about her. <laughs> that's Miss Pugh, my secretary. And uh, my girlfriend, so watch it. I think we all ought to watch it. She's been long enough putting that food away. <laughs> I forgot about that. You've got a point there. Miss Pugh! Coming! Coming! <laughs> well, I've put all the food away. And we all know how you can put it away, don't we? <laughs> What have you done with it? I've put it in the larder. What's that brown stain round your lips? That's Christmas pudding, I'll be bound. Oh, I only had a little taste to see if there were enough currants in it. I bet they've all gone now. Well, if you people don't mind, we'd like to see our rooms. Of course, dear. Now, the little boy is in Mr Hancock's room. He is not. He is on the piano stool. <laughs> I moved all your stuff out. Well, you can move it all back again. I'm not sleeping on the landing. I know you're not. You're in the bath. <laughs> I am not. I refuse. That tap drips. I'll get my boots wet. <laughs> well, don't sleep in your boots. I always sleep in my boots. <laughs> it might be a fire. <laughs> well, you've got to be ready for these things. I'm not being carried down a ladder in bare feet with the whole neighbourhood looking at me. <laughs> oh, plates exposed there. Good grief. <laughs> After all, we Hancocks have our pride. Where am I going to sleep? You can have William's room, dear. Oh, no, where am I going? You're out in the dog kennel with Sidney. <laughs> oh, blimey, the dog snores bad enough, but him. Well, come on, everybody, it's getting late. Bedtime. We don't want to be up late on Christmas morning. Where do we hang our stockings? On the clothesline with the rest of the washing. <laughs> Christmas, no, they're there. Father Christmas... Oh, Father Christmas, well, uh, yes, uh, 
Come over here. Yeah. Um, I've heard on the grapevine that uh, Father Christmas is having it a bit rough this year. <laughs> so he's actually he's having to make a small charge for his presents. <laughs> yes, it's tragic, isn't it? Yeah. Very sad, really. Mm. If I were you, I'd leave the fibre in your stocking as a sort of ooh, nominal payment. Mm -hmm. Like the free health service, you know. <laughs> I wouldn't be at all surprised if he threw in a little wooden fire engine or something. That's not much for five pounds, is it? Well, I'll see what other junk I've got in the cupboard. I mean, I'll... <laughs> I'll make a personal representation to him. He knows me. We're old friends, you know. Oh, many's the time me and his reindeer have gone to stag parties together. <laughs> Rain, stag, we... <laughs> and to think he makes a living out of it. <laughs> not so much of the old lip. Now, get your stock in and put the money in it, right? Right. Good night. Good night. Good night. Hmm, what a nasty man I am. Come on, everybody, dinner's ready. Come and get your Christmas dinner. No, we've gone on strike. Why? What's wrong? We put our money in our stockings, and when we woke up this morning, it had gone. And there were no presents in them either. Oh, no hard luck, never mind. I expect old Father Christmas has given them to children who haven't got anything. Well, we haven't got anything. Well, you're not as badly off as some kids. I mean, you're having a good time, aren't you? No. <laughs> and unless we get some presents or our money back, we're going to tell the vicar. Now, you don't want to do that. Now, perhaps Father Christmas is late this year. He... He's been held up. It's shocking trouble he has these days, you know. I mean, all these modern flats with central heating and no chimneys. Wriggling in and out of those radiator pipes, it's no joke. He's never been late any other year. No. We're going to tell the vicar. No, 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 no. He, he may have, he may have been. He, he may have, he may have left the toys somewhere. I, I'll bet he's left them in that old cupboard under the stairs. Well, well, well. <laughs> so he has. Look. A nice fort and some soldiers. Put them back, they're mine. Shut <laughs> up, it's all in a good cause. I don't want them. He's a right misery, this one. <laughs> What's wrong with them? They're cardboard. They're not much good. Not much good. They amuse Bill for hours, they do. <laughs> Never mind, children. We'll think of something. Come and have your dinner. Yes, come and have your dinner, you ungrateful little perishers. <laughs> Well, we're all set. Bring on the turkey. Sydney, bring the turkey in. Here it is. <coughs> Where? <laughs> on the plate, you see, behind that spud. <laughs> that was an 18-pound turkey when it started. Miss Pugh, what have you been doing? You said you could cook. It's frizzled up, that's all. It wasn't my fault. While I was cooking it, I had to keep taking it out of the oven. Why? Its feathers kept catching alive. <laughs> Oh, well, what's done is done. Let's get on with the carving. Here, you have a go. <laughs> oh, don't bother. Varnish it and stick it on the roof. I've always wanted a weathercock. <laughs> well, egg and chips, I think, gentlemen. We want our turkey. You'll get a taste of my curly-toed slipper in a minute. It couldn't taste any worse than this lot. Hey, look, what about the Christmas pudding? Let's start on that. Well, I was going to tell you about that. <laughs> <laughs> what has happened to the Christmas pudding? I don't know. I put it in the pressure cooker, turned the gas up, and the last time I saw it was heading towards Brixton. <laughs> What a fiasco. I told you Christmas was a waste of time. Well, let's open a tin of fruit. She couldn't have loused that up. I have, you know. I sat on it. <laughs> we want our turkey. And our Christmas pudding. And our money. I'm going to tell the vicar. I'm going to bed. <laughs> Wait a minute. Wait a minute. What's that noise coming from the chimney? Oh, it's, uh, it's Father Christmas. Oh, shut up. It is. We've got to cheer them up somehow. So I sent two pounds to the store in the high street and hired their father Christmas. I told him to make his entrance down the chimney. Oh, good girl. If they tell the vicar how they've been treated, we've had it. We'll be put inside for diddling orphans. <laughs> we'll be drummed out of the village. No, it'll be all right now. 
Father Christmas and a few toys will make him happy. We're going back to the orphanage. I'm going to tell the vicar. No, don't go, don't go. Father Christmas is here. That's what you said last night. He is. He's coming down the chimney. Where is he? Well, I think he's stuck up the chimney. Well, give us that broom. I'll get him down. <laughs> he's our last chance. Anything to keep him, keep him here away from the vicar. Come down, sir. Move yourself. Wriggle a bit. <laughs> look out. Look out. Here he comes. Good evening. <laughs> Oh, sling the turkey at him. No, don't be like that. <laughs> so, greetings, one and all. I bring your good cheer on this Christmas day. What do you want from Santa Claus, Sonny Jim? Not me, you idiot. <laughs> the children. Oh, yes, oh, yes. Hello, children, I am Santa Claus. Oh, no, you're not. You're too skinny. <laughs> I'm not skinny. I'm a big fat man. Oh, dear, I left my pillow up the chimney. <laughs> I'll go back and get it. I'll... No, don't bother. Just give them the toys and hop it. Oh, yes, all right. Little boys and little girls all gather round Santa for all the wondrous things that he's got for you. Hooray! Where's my sack? <laughs> well, I don't know. Wait a minute ago, we must find it. I got my sandwiches in it. <laughs> Oh, there it is. Look, hanging down the chimney. Oh, yes. Little boys and little girls all gather round Santa for all the wondrous things. What about a drink, because it's Christmas? No. <laughs> I'll go on just a little one to wet me whiskers. No, get on with the toys. You're half rotten. Oh, little boy, come up and whisper in Santa's ear. What do you want? You're a bit of a boy, aren't you? <laughs> be ashamed of yourself. <laughs> what do you want? I want a train set, an aeroplane, a bicycle, a rocket ship, an air pistol, a wristwatch, a football, a fountain pen, a cricket bat and a rowing boat. Oh, no, stop messing about. <laughs> I tell you what, how about a nice plastic comb? Oh, come on, don't. <laughs> I'm going to tell a vicar. No, 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 come here, come here. Give him a toy. Keep him quiet. All right, here you are. A nice big model yacht. Ooh, thanks. It's smashing. Now, you little girl, what do you want? I want to go back to the orphanage. Oh, come now, my dear. Have a nice doll or something. I don't want one. Have one! <laughs> <laughs> She's shy, dear little creature. <laughs> Give her a doll. I don't want a doll. Well, you've got to have something. It cost me a couple of quid to get him here. Come over here a minute, sis. Yeah, is that all right? Yeah. Hello, this bode's dodgy. Yeah. <laughs> well, we've had a talk and we've decided what we want What? We want all the stuff you've got in your sack oh, No, you can't have all that There's about 80 pounds worth of stuff in there Of course you can't have it It's out of the question Have a nice doll Listen, fatty If you don't let us have all the stuff in that sack Don't tell me We're, we're going, going to, to tell, tell the vicar <laughs> Yes It would appear You two have got me... How can I word it? Up the creek. Well put. <laughs> All right, Mike. Pick up the sack and let's go back to the orphanage. Coming. Now, the 80 pounds, please, Mr. Hancock. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, Mr. Hancock? Yes? Merry Christmas. <laughs> That's Christmas over for another year. Yeah. Where's Hancock? He's up in his bedroom trying to work out how he can sleep on half a mattress. <laughs> yeah, Jim, right. Those kids have got the right idea. I might be able to use it myself when they grow up. <laughs> oh, cheerio. I'm off. Where are you going? This Christmas has cost me a fortune. I'm broke. All me savings are gone. Me mattress is as flat as a pancake. So where are you going? <laughs> to see if the home for destitute children will take me in. I'll get the figure to find somewhere to put me up next Christmas. Goodbye. <laughs>